think it'll do a burnout just fine. Holy crap. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You see behind me, we've got the Copo Camaro and we're gonna continue on with this thing. Um, we push it up here to the front part of the garage because it's a lot closer to the welder that is not on a welding cart. So it'll make it easier to uh, tack weld everything together. Um, we've got the turbo sitting in here. It's about exactly where it's gonna sit. We're gonna end up cutting the Chevy emblem out. And then uh, the headers are on, but we gotta do some trimming down on this header on the motor mount. And then the alternator's gotta go away on this side. Um, and then these headers, we've got some uh, three to two and a half inch adapter pieces. I don't know if those are over here. I don't know where those are. Oh, they're yeah, somewhere. They're, they're probably in the car. So that we can do, uh, we'll weld some two and a half inch V-bands on here. Two and a half inch exhaust, right to, we've got a nice billet flange. Wherever it went, yeah. Okay. Nice billet piece right there. But uh, we do have a radiator sitting in there. I don't know if we showed it on the last video. I think we just bought this and slid it in there. We made the plastic piece on the last video, but it's in there how we want it. You're not gonna be able to see nothing. Um, it's just laying in there, it's not mounted. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, whack the ends of these headers off and start welding on those. And then Ryan's gonna start drumming on this motor mount and removing all the accessories so we can actually bolt those headers on and then maybe we'll see about running the uh, the hot side pipes and hanging this turbo. All right, guys, so we got the new ends welded on. We welded the two and a half inch V-bands on each header. Um, I just tacked them. I don't have foil down here to back purge them, so we'll do that another day. But just getting them tacked on, get an idea on where to run um, the pipes and everything. And then while I was tacking everything, Ryan clearance the motor mounts. You can see the aluminum just everywhere. <laughs> that thing makes a mess. But yeah, we'll be able to just run the pipes right over and uh, hopefully make this pretty easy. One thing to make this really easy is we got this Parker Speed. It's a twin scroll um, flange, but it's not a twin scroll housing, which doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, this is from Parker Speed. We got this from Direct Performance Solutions and uh, that'll just make it, our pipes made up there nice. It's, it's threaded, slide it right in there. I'll probably let go of it and it'll put a hole in our radiator, but. <laughs> you don't um, do that. Yeah, it'll sit like that, then we'll, I thought we were gonna lose it. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, we'll just come off of here, right here, snake this one around. Um, should make it pretty easy. One thing we're kind of going that over. before it falls. Yeah. One thing we're kind of going over before we make the hot side is a uh, turbo drain location. So we'd like to run it over here to the passenger side of the block, but the alternator's gonna go over there. So we're gonna have to somehow snake it through on the driver's side um, and make it at a good angle so that it drains and everything. So before we actually weld up the hot side pipes, I think we'll probably come up with a drain idea at least. Um, that way we're not just shooting in the dark and end up with something we don't want. Uh, what else? Oh, we're gonna need a uh, straight fitting on the thermostat housing. Just a straight, I'm probably gonna put uh, AN fittings on here, like some dash 16s or 20s, whatever they put on them. Um, so we'll just get an end for that. I'm sure they probably make one and this threads in, we can get an upper. Next step, we're gonna start mocking up the hot side. So we're gonna go ahead, 
cut these two and a half inch Mandelbrot stainless steel pipes up, start building the hot side of this thing, and then uh, start tacking that together. I finally got the hot side tack welded up and she actually looks pretty stinking good. I've only ever made a hot side with a MIG welder and uh, some nasty luminized tubing. Never have I TIG welded and made a stainless nice hot side so uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, my pie cuts I actually didn't show as I was cutting those because I was using this um, bandsaw right here that I got and Things a pile of junk. So I was in here, forgot to grab the camera when I came in here. I actually cut all my pie cuts with the chop saw. So those are nine degree pie cuts. And as you can see, the chop saw only goes from uh, zero to 15. So it's kind of a guess on how the pie cuts were actually gonna come out. Or I only had a few left that I didn't end up using. One here, one I cut off. The pie cuts that I cut weren't all exactly the right size. You can see like, this one in the middle is kind of not correct. And uh, this one on the end definitely is at nine degrees. But uh, it actually worked out perfect having these not perfectly cut uh, pie cuts in there because I was able to come straight across and then just dump straight into there. Um, the exhaust is gonna be pretty close. I'm planning on coming out with two four inch um, pipes split right here. And the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the turbo is right at that, but I'm hoping we can come up with them and uh, clear that. I don't know. It's gonna be stinking close. I realized that after I tack welded it all together. She's looking good. Center and the turbo was a pain. It is close. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Um, you can see back here, the center of the turbo to the center of the water pump is just off a of hair. But if I turned this. Then the, uh, then the front of the turbo wasn't perfectly in the middle of the bumper like I wanted it. So I kind of had to decide which I wanted. I was having a pain. When you make a turbo kit and you just set the turbo to one side or the other, you kind of just make one side and then where it lands, it lands. And that's what you end up going with. But uh, yeah, slamming it in the middle like that is not, uh, not very easy. So, and I was just hanging it with these this ratchet strap and bungee cord and the thing was moving all over the place and yeah so come back here tomorrow after work and uh i'll decide if i'm gonna cut start welding that hot side up or move the wires and maybe do the exhaust pipe i got uh direct performance solutions is then gonna make me the uh the down pipe 
split. I'm definitely not that advanced in my fabrication skills to do that, but uh, I might just go ahead and weld the hot side up and worry about the downpipe later. All right guys, she's finally mounted, hanging there. It doesn't have the brace on it yet, so it still wobbles a little bit, but uh, she looks pretty stinking good. I think, I mean, I it think, looks all right. I think it looks sweet. It's not too shabby. I've never TIG welded a hot side together, and it uh, definitely took me all freaking night. I started about seven o'clock, and it's, what is it, 12.30 right now? Going on 1.30. Going on 130? I don't know. 109. 109. So, yeah. It took me a while, and I, uh, I learned a few things. I warped the heck out of it, so I had to add another piece in. <laughs> I thought I was just welding enough and spinning it, and I obviously wasn't. So, I warped it, so the turbo actually... I warped the U-bend where all the uh, pie cuts are, so I sucked the turbo toward the passenger side just a little bit um, instead of trying to bend it back and then fighting every time we put it on I ended up adding a bigger piece right here and uh, yeah made up for it so it's not that bad I mean stand back and you look at it it's pretty pretty centered I don't know that looks pretty good if you judge it by the water pump it's off the exhaust housing to the water pump but you won't notice that with the bumper on it. Yeah. Put the bumper on it. Speaking of that. Oh. Stupid little pins. Look centered in there? Yep. It looks like it already ate the Chevy badge. Uh, I took it off <laughs> hoping that it was... I almost drilled a hole in the middle of that when I was trying to line it up. It's pretty close. But like I said earlier, we're gonna end up cutting just this piece out and then I'd like to um, shove something on it and then bring it all the way out here so it's curved all the way around. Oh, I thought that was a scratch. It's a piece of hair. Um, so like it, it'll curve down and turbo will be completely open. Um, I'm afraid this is gonna mess with the air going into it. So, yeah, I don't know. Turned out all right, I guess. I don't know how bad it's gonna leak because we well, can't start it right now. <laughs> Shouldn't leak, but. I think it looks a lot better than the uh, other stuff we've previously fabricated. 
I'm gonna go grab it. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so you guys can be the judge. This was not <laughs> I think the wastegate broke. It did break. And it I, broke actually. It's broken right twice. now. Twice. Yep, that's second time. It broke when we had loaded on the trailer and then had to unload it and weld her up and that's the aftermath. This old girl was on my uh, 71 Ford or Nova. Actually built this the Exhaust, it was kind of like the Holly manifolds. It wrapped around, went through a LT4 manifold. I actually built it before Holly came out with theirs. And uh, <laughs> look at those booger welds. This thing went no. uh, 890s in a 3,800 pound car. So hopefully the nicer exhaust will. So, so for want people that want to judge that, that was how long ago? 2016, I put the car together. Yeah, so well, that's okay. It went fast. It was this fun. was not my first one either. They were worse than <laughs> this. The green Mustang was like 2012, and that one was bad. Yeah, I remember that. About that sweet shirt you're wearing, though. The that one you I put a burn a hole in. Hole in already? I'm going to have to go to hpdepot.com and buy myself <laughs> another one because I put a freaking hole in it. Why I tried to move my filler rod with my chest not a, not a good I, idea I forgot I flipped it over and then I tried to push it forward <laughs> that's dumb but yeah check out the new shirts pretty sweet oh what about hats oh I don't have my hat on right now. I got this one I'm trying this one out this one's supposed to be sweat resistant oh that's why it's playing it's starting, it's starting to get warm out too so yeah because I kill hats within like two days so but yeah we got the hats have the HP or HPD and the turbo right there. I'll put a couple pictures up of them. Um, hats, shirts, website, hpdepot.com. Um, check it out. So June 18th and 19th, we're actually going to be in streetcar takeover with this thing. Um, since it doesn't have a VIN number and it's not a titled streetcar, we couldn't run it in the streetcar class. So we got to race the big boys in the no time class. And... I don't know. I think this thing should run 460s, 470s, probably. Um, that should compete with some of them. I don't know if that'd win the race, but uh, yeah, we're going to find out. They're no time guys, so I guess you don't know what they're going to run. So Not going to know what you run either. Uh, I think you get time slips. You get, don't they cut them in half? They cut them in half, but yeah, we get a, we get a slip. So yeah, we could go out there and run. 550s, but we'll look cool because we got no time in the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of cool kids do. So. If this thing runs 550s, we just need to load it up and bring it back home. But a know. day at the racetrack is better than not being at the racetrack. I don't know. I've had some pretty rough days at the racetrack. Very true. <laughs> so. Trying to be optimistic, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard for me to do. So yeah, well, we hope to have this thing there. Actually, I hope to have this thing running in like two weeks. I don't know if it's gonna happen with other cars that we have to put together. We're gonna do a track rental in a couple of weeks and uh, right off the track rental is a uh, factory appearing stock tire, fast series race. So I'd like to have this there and work some bugs out, but that's in two weeks and we still have an engine that shows up for a car tomorrow that we gotta put in and get ready. So. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try for it. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave us a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.